Well, this is my first attempt at a Minecraft video. Um, the purpose of this video is to demo the Minecraft station that I built and uh, show some common problems and tutorial for the admins on the server that I created it on to help support it. Now, I, I just logged in and this is the current state. This is, this is one of the first problems I noticed. This cart should be pushed right up against this wall and that's so that when the booster comes up this track here it, it grabs it correctly and pushes it across. This cart's repopulated from above so it should always appear right here. It's okay if there's not a cart here but when it's it's over here like this it does not get boosted properly. Um, the second thing is the cart hopper is almost empty, empty so it looks like people have been borrowing carts for other uses or something like that. That's fairly easy to fix. Just place a cart down, run up to it, and it'll drop down into the hopper. So we'll just drop a couple carts in there. There we go. That's fixed. And we'll go through the maintenance door here and go downstairs. And there's a problem here. Uh, it looks like someone was playing with the door and clicked on it open. Um, that shouldn't be a problem. It's normally left like that. That's okay. We'll just close that. Hop down here. And there should be a cart sitting right there on top of the door as a standard door booster. So let's see if we can find that. Oh, there's the cart right there. Okay, so we'll, oops, we'll break that cart and we'll push this one back to where it's supposed to start. <clears throat> I've actually labeled the starting positions for these boosters, so that one's labeled booster one start. And then over here, this second booster should be right there. Okay, so those are reset, they're in the correct places. Now the easiest way to get a cart on top of the door, you could go up top here and drop it from above onto this track and try and push it. But what I've found is it almost never makes it to the end and it'll end up sideways. It's quite annoying. So a much easier way of getting it back up there is just to go here, drop it there, give it a little shove, it'll get boosted, and do a little S, go back up, all the way up to the top. It'll grab the cart, reset it, and it should be right there which is where it's supposed to be. All right, so just to get, give you a demo, I'll push the manual test button here. It's properly labeled. Push the button, cart falls down. Grabs that booster, goes across, S is back, and goes up to the next level. And now the first booster resets over there, second booster resets over there. So we go up to the next level. This is just maintenance level, so we'll bypass that for a minute, just to give you an idea. So this is the normal call button. Normally you would jump in that cart. You push the button. It's a temporary indicator. I do want to fix that. And any second now, there it is. It grabs the cart, zips it off. So you notice it went immediately to the left, to the hopper, and that's because this stone plate here is an empty cart detection. If no one's in the cart, it immediately just takes a bend to the left. If someone's in the cart, then it continues straight to the destination. The destination is done through this selector switch. I would very much like to do a better selection, but given the amount of room that I used, it wasn't really possible. So it comes up here and goes to the last line, which is Alicia's house. All right, so that's that's normal operation. That's That seems to be the biggest flaws with the system, the biggest things that break. So now to give you an idea of exactly what happens. As you saw before, the cart drops down into the booster, zips along. These pat tracks are so long because I want the cart to gain enough momentum. Um, mine carts will gain top speed in only eight track sections, but the longer the booster track is, the more momentum they gain. Um, there's a finite amount of momentum that they'll gain, and 8-bit engineers did a great uh, write-up on the forums on smart boosters and how to maximize the distance.
So that booster cart comes up here, grabs this cart, it then goes back down here, and here's my cart hopper. It grabs a cart from here, pushes a cart. It still has maximum momentum, so this pushed cart goes up this way through that little hole, and I'll show you where that hole goes. It comes up here, hits that ladder, and drops straight down, thus resetting the cart. So if I hit the button, the boosted cart drops off the, the door, runs back and forth through that S, and then comes zipping up here, runs back down, and then it'll be another cart, drops right down there. Perfect. So that's how the system works. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and um, I'll post a couple of links on the uh, YouTube video on where I got some of the ideas. Um, one of the biggest things I do want to do is I want to create a proper single push button selection, um, but I don't have the room for the, the, the logic gates. If you look behind here, that's all the room I have to play with, and some of the, the vertical logic gates for push button selection are somewhere in the neighborhood of 15 or 20 block segments long. So since this is suspended in midair, it, uh, it makes it kind of unwieldy to try and do that. So anyways, I'm going to end the video now before I belch and uh, have a good day.